ranking to which all other restaurants aspire. That praise came from Gourmet Magazine for our next guest, our chef on a shoestring, Chef Bill Palapan. He learned some of his trade in New York's finest restaurants from Le Cirque to Le Bernardin, and now his own restaurant, Telepan, is getting rave reviews. This morning, he's preparing a three-course meal with local ingredients, all on a budget of just $40. Great yeah. to see you, Chef. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Well, so, we're thrilled to have you. We want to know what's on the menu. We're doing a end of the summer grill menu, so and it's vegetarian, so we're going to have a grilled cremini mushroom salad, we're going to have a grilled vegetable pasta, and we're going to do grilled peaches, that mm -hmm. sort of like a crisp, but grilled style. So first we're going to start with the cremini mushrooms, and, and these are like baby portobellos almost, so like they'll open a up. A little and darker? They're a little, no, no, but they'll just, they call them baby bellas, and then they'll open up and become a, 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 a portobello mushroom. So we're going to, and these are great because they really taste nice, and they're meaty, and they t stand up to the grill, and we're going to skewer some after we marinate so them. So we add some garlic to Garlic that? and chili. We got some oil, and we'll and then we'll just. I gotta a, work here. You gotta work a little. I gotta so, work. So you gotta start skewing. So we'll skewer these up. A little oil. There you go, and then we'll just toss that up. Some pepper. Some Do you like pep pepper with nah, it? Yeah, we're gonna add some pepper to it. So <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> I'm creating the recipe now, Bill. <laughs> so this will sit for about an hour. You skewer them up, and you start growing them, okay. and like this here, and they'll come out really nice and soft, and, and they'll really taste nice. If you can add, if you want to do like a protein, a real meat protein, you could, this salad will be great with steak. So I got some shallots, some sherry vinegar, some olive oil here. We'll mix that up for the salad with some baby uh, spinach here. Again, you could use any kind of greens you like for that. Mm -hmm. And then we have... You mix it in with the grilled well. stuff? And then what we're gonna do is just take the skewers like this, and I can handle that because my yeah. hands are Teflon. And you'll just, we'll put this over here. How long do you want them to sit on the grill for? Uh, before probably you about take like them off? five to seven minutes or so. And then we're just going to take a little pecorino cheese. Again, you can use Parmesan or something, but this is a nice, sharp flavor. Hands up to, uh, stands up to the, um, the grilled like uh, mushrooms because they're kind of meaty and all. And we're going to put a little balsamic on there. And I like the sherry and the balsamic mix. Mm -hmm. yeah, it works really well together. So it has so. some acidity to it? It has some acidity to it, but the sweetness from the, the acid from the sherry and the sweetness from the balsamic really go well with this, the it's mushrooms beautiful. here. Oh, and that could also be a place for your pepper too, right? That could be a place. <laughs> so you, could, you could want to sprinkle some pepper on that? I'd love to, Bill. I'd love to. <laughs> so the next course, we're going to do a grilled vegetable pasta. I mean, you could add a lot of different vegetables that go great on the grill, like zucchini or eggplant or something. But here we got some corn that we're doing. Here, you're going to go to work here now. Okay, tell me what I need to do. So I'm going to teach you. You get a a hot, hot piece of corn off the grill. Can you handle this? And you just pull it right down, like you're shucking. Now is when you do the shucking part, okay. like you instead. And I'm gonna take the tomato that I grilled here. And we're just gonna take the tomato and cut it up right off the grill. Do you marinate the tomato? No, no, it just goes right on, the on to fresh on the grill. You just pop all these vegetables right on the grill. You don't have to season it, you don't have to marinate it. We're gonna do that a little later. Take good? this off? Got or it. you can do that. <laughs> we'll rip that off here. And then to make it easier for you to cut, you pop it in half like this. And then you could go down. Less likely it, to cut yourself Less that likely. Way, you probably. don't want to go like, look how yeah. wobbly that can get there. So, and then you could just ch chop it off like this. How long does the like corn this. stay on the grill? That's the always corn, a big question well, the at corn, the Jarvis house. The good thing about the corn, it could stay on as long or as little as possible because you could always eat the corn raw if you want to. And some people like that. But I would leave it on, say, about 10 minutes. And the tomatoes, you just want to darken and, and, and once they darken, they soften up, and you just cut them up, and we'll put them in here. And what I have in here already is some red peppers. I have some lime juice, some lemon juice, um, some white wine vinegar, olive oil. And add a little protein to this. We're going to add some of this buffalo mozzarella. What's great about the buffalo mozzarella, you see all that mm -hmm. buffalo, the creaminess juicy. coming? It's really juicy. I want to get to the what I consider the greatest piece of every meal, the dessert piece. The dessert, okay. Well, we're grilling some peaches. Now, that what I was thinking about for this is that like a summertime, I always think of crisp, like blueberries or peach crisp. Yes. Well, we're, we're going to do a style where we have some peaches that I marinate, a little honey and some mint, and we've been grilling them off here. <laughs> And, and they take about like, you know, you want to darken them. If you've got really ripe peaches that go really quick, and then you just put them on the, just get a good grill marks on them. As we're doing this, Bill, I want to see how you stand up some. against the other chefs, because as I understand it, we have a winner in the house today, guys. What? Oh, yeah. The what? winner of our Chef on a Shoestring oh, Challenge. He had $40? With, he had $40. $37 and $37 oh, wow. one penny. Bill, did you know this coming in today that you were going to leave a winner? Well, I didn't know. Excellent. That's good to know. All right. <laughs>
And here you go. And it tastes amazing too, okay. right? Go for it. Yeah. Well done. Marshall, can I get you something? How about some salad? See, this is a win. I need a